Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. It is currently five past six in the morning and I am on my way to work. Now, I've been out here in the UAE, Abu Dhabi specifically, for coming up to two years now. And in those two years, I have um, got a bit of more of a better impression of what life out here in the UAE is really like. The pros and the cons, you could say. I've had a few people over the last few months message me asking me about um, getting jobs out here, asking me about what life is like. And so I thought I would do a bit of a pros versus cons video about life and work out here in the UAE. Now some of these things are going to be specific to me as a teacher, um, but the majority of the video is going to be looking at life um, in general life as a whole. Let's get into the video. See you when I'm at work. So, pro number one, just knock the desk. Pro number one has got to do with your work and money. Now, the UAE is a tax free country, or at least it offers a tax free wage, which means that all of the money you earn, you keep, which is brilliant. Um, the con, and it's not really a con, I suppose, but the con is you work for your money. Um, my day starts every day at 5 a.m., which as a teacher is very, very early, and I don't often get home until four or five o'clock as well. So you work long days, you work really hard, but you do make reasonable money. And like I say, it's tax free. So obviously if you're out here and you're not a teacher and you're self-employed, you can probably make the most of that tax free wage, tax free lifestyle. So that's the first one. Good pay, but you work for it. So following on from my first point, leads me into my second point and that is all about people now in comparison to when i worked in the uk um, i worked in a really small school and i had a tight close small knit of friends around me whereas having moved out here my school is considerably larger very much a small pond versus large ocean sort of situation and as a result i find myself working with and socializing with people from all over the world um, and this has really enriched me both Personally, I've got to meet some incredible people, but also professionally. Um, it really helps as a teacher being able to hear other people's insights and working with people who have all sorts of different experiences. So that's amazing. The con is that by nature of expat life, people come and people go. And you can find yourself um, where you know, you've know you got really close friends, friends that you spend a lot of time with, um, that you've got some very good memories with, that you know are going to eventually leave or leave whilst you're still out here. And that's always a bit of a funny sort of juxtaposition where you then sort of have to change yourself a little bit or change the so so social circles that you find yourself in. Um, so that's something to that you have to kind of get used to. So that is the end of my day at work. I'm now in the car about to head home. My next pro is all to do with the climate and the weather. Now, unlike in the UK or most of Europe, in fact, uh, where the weather can fluctuate and even in the summer it might rain or it might be overcast and cloudy and it could impact your plans. Out here, the weather is very, very consistent. Most days, regardless of whether it's the summer or if it is the winter, there are very few clouds, if any at all, and it is sunny and bright and clear, which is great if you're organizing events or you're planning on going out because there's a very, very high chance the weather is going to be good and you're gonna be able to continue with your plans as normal. Uh, that and it helps with your mood because it isn't cold, because it's warm and it's sunny, it just makes you feel a whole lot better. The con, however, and I need to show you my car to be able to show you this properly, is how hot it gets. Yep, you read that correctly. It is currently 42 degrees centigrade. So in the summer, it gets excruciating hot to the point where um, on your, your days off on a Saturday or a Sunday, you don't really want to be going out too much. You typically want to stay in where there's air conditioning because it does get blisteringly hot. And even a, a couple of minute walk outside, you're dripping with sweat. Um, it's 42 degrees right now, and we're not even in the hottest part of the year. In about a month's time, it will be peaking at around 50, 51 degrees. So if you're not very good with the heat, the summer is gonna be a bit of a no-go. Now, obviously, if you're self-employed, a lot of people decide that they're gonna go back to Europe or they're gonna travel for that period of time. And as a teacher, fortunately, I get to do the same thing, but that month or two before the end of the year, it's a killer. So, seeing as I'm driving home, it brought an idea to my head. And this is another pro. 
um, and that is the ability to afford a nice vehicle. Now, this pro might not be appropriate for everyone if you're not that interested in cars, but unlike in the UK where I'm from, um, it can be very expensive and very challenging to get yourself a nice car. Um, the paperwork is quite a lot. You often, if you want to get a nicer car, need a big deposit. Um, the monthly repayments are really high. The insurance is really expensive. Whereas out here, it's a lot more affordable. So I've got myself a nice car, and now I'm not always gonna be able to afford this luxury. And so I can afford it on the budget that I've got. Um, if I were to have this car in the UK, I simply wouldn't be able to afford it. The roads here are also very large. Um, the road I'm currently driving on is a three lane road. So as you can see, the roads are nice and clear, plenty of space. Um, and you get some roads, especially those that go down into Dubai and Abu Dhabi, that can be up to five, six, even seven lanes wide, which means you've got lots and lots of space. The con, however, is people's driving isn't always the most comfortable. People often swerve in and out of lanes, um, people can, um, if they're in a rush to get somewhere, drive really close up behind you. So you do have to be mindful of when you're driving and make sure that you're checking your windscreen mirrors regularly um, because sometimes someone might come up right behind you, flashing you to let you go past. Um, like I say, the roads are really wide, but at certain times of the day, they are going to be quite busy. People are gonna potentially cut you up and roundabouts just have eyes in the back of your head. So this is my car, the Audi. You can also buy things like this. Not really sure what that is. Oh, okay guys, the next, the next point is work-life balance. Now I have just finished a session in the gym and I'm in a minute about to head out and meet Daisy. But one great thing about being a teacher, especially out here in the UAE, is work-life balance. Now I know I said earlier that when you work, you work really hard and the hours are long. But especially in a private school, you have many gaps throughout the day to get work done and to achieve what you need to achieve, which opens up your evenings like now. It's currently nearly six o'clock. I can come to the gym, I can go and have a swim and I can go and meet with friends and do other things. In the UK, just didn't have the time or the opportunities to do that. So that is definitely a pro. Right, I'm gonna go and have a swim. Is it refreshing? I'll jump in in a second. <laughs> Whew, that was a nice swim. Wasn't very far, but there you go. Uh, in line with what I was saying just now about work-life balance, you also have access to things like brunches, cool days out, and it's all on your doorstep here in the UAE, whether it's in Abu Dhabi or down in Dubai, things that you wouldn't normally get access to otherwise. The con is that it can be expensive out here. I've done a video on saving money, spending money, how much you could earn and things like that out here. But it's so tempting to go and do things on your weekends and on your days off and in your evenings, but it can set you back. Um, and so sometimes it's a bit of a struggle to save money because things are expensive at times. But I think having a good work-life balance and having access to all these things is probably worth it. You just have to know when to say no. Go on then, half you. No, not the cat. Let's go, come on. There's a good boy. So I am just taking Zuko for a little walk and on my way back from the gym, Daisy actually reminded me about um, communication and more appropriately about how you can maintain communication with people around you. Now a real pro out here is companies, delivery drivers, they use WhatsApp a lot, um, which is great because it makes things very convenient. It means that you can send um, couriers your location and they can deliver it wherever you want. Um, returns are super simple because of that as well. And it's all done on WhatsApp, which is fantastic. A con, however, is if you are wanting to make contact with your family, people at home, normally you would just pick up the phone and you would video call them, right? Well, out here it is not quite as simple 
simple as that. Now there are many video calling platforms out here. You can use Zoom and things. Um, but if you have an iPhone like I do, uh, FaceTime doesn't actually work um, where, whereas it does in the rest of the world. So you have to use alternatives. Like I say, it doesn't make things impossible. Whenever I want to contact home, I always use Zoom. But the ease of being able to pick up your phone and FaceTime someone, unfortunately you can't do that here. I just don't think it's allowed. Come on in, Zooks. Let's go. This way. Come on. Yeah, good boy. Good boy. Come on in, boy. There we go. Right, I am going to finish taking this guy on the walk and I will continue with my pros and cons when we get back home. Right. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Right, we're back home, Zoot. Let's go. Come on. That's it, let's go. That's a good boy. Here we go. Cool, oh, can smell the dinner already. Delicious. Post walk treat. Good boy. Good boy. Well done. Dinner's smelling good. What are you preparing? Um, flatbreads. With what? Flatbreads with uh, peppers and onions that are cooked. And then mine's with honey chili halloumi, and yours is honey chili chicken. And salady bits. Salady bits. Sounds good. Right, I'm gonna jump in the shower and freshen up. Get out my sweaty clothes. On to the next pro and con. Now, behind me, you can see it just over the, my shoulder here, Daisy and I have recently bought a new piece of furniture. This is our tuk-tuk bar. As we come towards the end of every year as uh, teachers, I can said at the beginning of this video, people leave and when they leave, they sell all kinds of different things. And this has probably got to be the most cool thing I've ever bought. It is a, the front of a tuk-tuk that has been remodeled and made into a bar. Behind it, we have areas to store wine glasses and cocktail glasses. We've got a service area here. And then down here is more wine storage and there's storage underneath as well. Not only that, if I click this button and I then move around to the front, it also lights up as well. Oh, it's so cool. I'm really happy with this. Anyway. My next point has actually got everything to do with this, not specifically the fact that we've got a bar in the living room, but the thing that is in the bar, and that is alcohol. Now this won't apply to everyone, I'm aware that not everyone will be drinking alcohol, but out here you can drink alcohol for, for the starter, um, but sometimes it's not always easy to get. Now first of all, as a pro, is even though the UAE is a Muslim country, it is here. You can go to brunches and you can pay a, a certain amount of money and you can have three to four hours of delicious food and you can drink to your heart's content. You can also go and buy booze and you can store it at home. That's the pro. The con, other than the price, because it is a bit more expensive than it might be back at home, the average pint of beer, for instance, is £10, which is considerably more expensive. We're talking London prices if you're in the UK. The con is getting alcohol and the accessibility of it for your home. Now, we've got quite a nice stocked little bar here, um, but you have to go to boo shops. It's not like in Europe and around the, you know, around the other parts of the world where you can just pop into a supermarket um, or a store and you can buy your alcohol of choice. Here, you have to go to specific shops to buy them. And actually in Dubai, to go into a boo shop, you also need a card, a little license that you have to pay for to allow you to do that as well. So yeah, so getting alcohol if you enjoy a drink and you want to bring it home, the process in doing so is not as simple as it is back at home. You can still get it, it's just not as simple. So I have just come into the kitchen to see how Daisy's getting on with prepping dinner and it is looking mighty fine. And this is going to be the next pro and the next con. So a pro out here, and it's not Daisy's cooking, I mean <laughs> Daisy's cooking is pro, but it's not that. Um, <laughs> The pro is accessibility to food. Now, it doesn't matter whether you are in Dubai, which is highly popular and there are lots and lots of different eateries and restaurants, or whether you're in Abu Dhabi and Atlane like we are, you can get pretty much anything delivered to your doorstep within 20 or 30 minutes. That is a fantastic pro. 
if you're fancying a burger, a pizza, if you want um, <laughs> some alcohol from the alcohol shop, um, if you need medication, if you need absolutely anything, it gets delivered to you that evening, most probably, if not the day later. But with most things, it will be with you within the hour. The con of that is that you get very used to that accessibility. And if you're feeling a bit peckish, you find yourself ordering many takeaways. Unfortunately, Daisy and I have fell into that trap many times and we're now trying to be a bit better and plan our meals and get food cooking. Um, but that is something to bear in mind that if you come out here, you may well be frequent on Talibat. Yeah. Okay guys, this leads me into the last pro and the last con. And for this, I'm gonna show you a few things that are dotted around the apartment. First is the hats. We've also got artwork up here, artwork up there, including this one. We've also got some of these. Hopefully, that kind of gives you a bit of a clue. Travel. Travel out here in the UAE is fantastic. We are a bit of a hub for travel. We have two main airports, well, major ones that people fly into. That is both Abu Dhabi and Dubai. Um, and you get flights, international, national, all over the place. Um, they are accessible. They're easy to get to even out here. We're about an hour away from the airport. We can jump in a taxi. It's not very expensive to do so. And you can fly all over the world. Whether, like me, you're potentially wanting to go back home uh, during the winter period for Christmas um, to see family in Europe, whether you're wanting to go further east into Asia, whether you want to go down to Africa, there are so many cheap and affordable options for travel. It's, it's amazing. Um, I'm not really sure that there's a con for this, but that is the pro. Yeah, definitely not any cons to that, unless you hate traveling, in which case you probably won't come out to this part of the world in the first place. But there you go. Those are my pros and my cons of living and working out here in the UAE. Now, I am sure that there are more. In fact, I have no doubt that after I have finished recording this video and I've uploaded it, I'll probably think of more. And I may well do another video at some point in the future. Um, but there we go. I hope you guys found that useful. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I tried to go through a whole variety of things that I have found have been positive and some things that maybe play on my mind a little bit when I'm out here and things that you could potentially consider if you're planning on coming out here or it's been a thought of yours. Anyway, I'm gonna leave the video here. Don't forget, subscribe, like, comment down below and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.